hi beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you are new in here thank you so much for tuning in and i hope everybody is doing good so to my new subscribers thank you so so much for subscribing to my channel so lovely peoples in today's video as you guys can see i will be making chicken kebab oh my god this chicken is juicy delicious tasteful i mean any nice name going through your mind when looking at this chicken <laughs> i know some people will be like yummy this looks delicious yes that is what i'm talking about so this chicken you can prepare it for an occasion for birthday party for your guests this chicken looks amazing so colorful so tasteful so delicious your guests will love it the people you are inviting to the birthday party will love it any occasion even you can even take this with a drink it goes well so without further ado let's get started now i'll be starting with the ingredients whatever i'll be using for my chicken kebab so i have here my chicken breasts or boneless chicken my kebab powder which, which is optional my curry powder cumin powder garlic powder ginger powder salt to taste olive oil thyme chicken cube chicken seasoning and of course you'll be needing your skewers i also got here red onions together with a mixed bell pepper which is the green the red and the yellow i have here my smoked paprika powder first of all i'll be seasoning my chicken with salt after that i'm sprinkling some thyme on my chicken next i'll be using my curry powder cumin powder garlic powder my ginger powder after that i'll be sprinkling my chicken seasoning And next goes my paprika powder. Mix it very well or either add your chicken cube before mixing it. Now I'll be adding my half chicken cube. The chicken is not many that is why I decided to add half of chicken cube because i already added some salt so bear that in mind now i am done i'll be covering it with some plastic and let it marinate for about an hour or 30 minutes it depends on your time but the longer it sits to marinate the more the spices get into the chicken now it's about an hour so i'll be taking off my plastic and i am ready to start garnishing so i'll be sprinkling my oil my olive oil on the chicken after that mix it very well now i'll be baking my chicken in my air fryer so you can escape the oil it's not all that important in the air fryer but i'm doing it just to get that juicy chicken that is what i want i 
don't want any dry chicken now this is the time for me to use my uh, bell pepper or paprika and also my skewers I'll be putting the vegetables between the chicken you can uh, choose any vegetables that you want but I like this type of combination my red onions and also my mixed bell pepper you can even choose to use only onion or only bell pepper the choice is yours but this combination goes so well now guys see this colorful kebab it looks so so good i will be doing the same step with the rest of the chicken now i will be using my kebab powder which i said earlier that it is optional this kebab powder is very very spicy this kebab powder this is the same kebab powder we use in africa on the chinchinga yes this is very spicy and it tastes so amazing so uh i'll be using that on only my chicken because I am the only one who eats spicy in this house so I'm only doing it on my chicken I'll be using my air fryer for that for baking because whenever I bake it in the normal oven it's end up getting so so dry but with this air fryer it comes out perfectly like the way I always want it so juicy so i i set it i set my uh air fryer to um 180 degree and i'll be baking each side five minutes four to five minutes so now the other side is ready and i'll flip it over to the other side and also bake it for another five minutes so i might say in total i baked my chicken for 10 minutes 8 to 10 minutes rather so now as you guys can see it is ready not so dry so perfectly baked so perfectly like the way i want it so guys this is my final result looking at this chicken very very close up i can tell your mouth is in your mouth is getting watery yes i am posting it through post office <laughs> so guys thank you so much for watching share this video to your loved ones so that they can also watch and subscribe to my channel as well thank you so so much for subscribing to my channel and i hope you guys will try this wonderful and amazing recipe out it's very very easy so um i might say stay safe be wearing your face mask very very important wash your hands very often and let's stay alive together and i'll see you in my next one have a nice day bye